everyone, welcome to my channel. A couple of videos back I did my lipstick collection and today I thought I should do my favorite everyday lip products. So without any further ado, let's get started and talk about the first one. The first one is actually a lip balm from Dior and it is the Dior Collagen, no, it is the Dior Lip Glow in uh, Color Revive Balm, which is a kind of lip balm that kind of adjusts its color to the pH or the heat of your body. So it looks like this, but it actually looks different on everyone depending on their kind of body chemistry or whatever. So that is that, and it actually is moisturizing. It's very, very beautiful and it looks very effortless. You can actually apply it without a mirror throughout the day. So it's perfect for reapplication purposes. That is that. Another one that I love using on top of it is the Dior Collagen Active um, Lip Maximizer, which is a gloss that you can apply all over any lip color or even on its own to kind of plump up your lips. I don't find that it really does a lot of plumping on my lips but I love it because it gives like a beautiful shine it feels interesting on the lips and it feels actually really really good it does not feel sticky at all so I really really like it and I highly highly recommend it and moving on from that to another lip gloss that I love to apply throughout the day which is the Clarence Instant Natural no which is the Clarence Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector I have the shade number one, but I'm thinking of getting more of these because I genuinely adore them. I think they are amazing, amazing lip glosses. Um, it's like a kind of pinky color, but it does not look very pink because it is a gloss and it doesn't have the pigmentation of a regular lipstick. So that is that. It's very comfortable. It's not sticky and it tastes and smells ridiculously good. You almost want to eat it, but you shouldn't. So that is that. And then moving on from that to my... A uh, very recent lipstick addition to my collection, which is that um, Guerlain uh, Kiss Kiss uh, lipstick in Rosy Boop, which looks like this. It's a beautiful, gorgeous, stunning lip product. I love it. It feels amazing on the lips. It has a beautiful pigmentation. The color is like a rosy kind of shade with corally or orangey undertones to it, so it looks very, very interesting. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that is that. Another one from Guerlain, I do have one more Guerlain product and that's it, I swear. This is the Guerlain um, Rouge G in the shade number 60, Gabrielle, which is a beautiful everyday kind of nudey, corally kind of peachy shade. It's glorious, glorious, glorious. It is very, very easy to apply simply because the packaging has a mirror, so it's very, very fancy. And the packaging of it is absolutely luxurious. I mean, you just, you know, imagine yourself like taking it out of your handbag. It looks beautiful. It makes you look like a million dollars. So I really, really love it. I love the packaging. I love how it feels on the lips. I love everything about this lipstick. So that is that. Moving on from that to um, my last um, Guerlain product, which is the Guerlain Shine Automatique into 65 Pal Rosa and you've heard me talk about this lipstick numerous numerous times because it is my favorite. I went through a lot of tubes of this particular lipstick because I just I love it. It's my absolute favorite. It is a shine so it's not as pigmented as you see right here. I've swatched it numerous numerous times. I have a lot of pictures on Instagram of me wearing this so if you're interested to see how this looks on me definitely check out my Instagram or actually look at the hashtag um, Rosie, um, you know, no, Power Rosa on Instagram and you'll definitely see a lot of pictures of me wearing this because I love it. And then moving on to a Lancome Rouge in Love lipstick. This is in the shade Coral in Love, which is a beautiful kind of reddish coral shade right here. It's not too red, it's not too coral, it's like in between, beautiful, very, very lovely. It feels amazing on the lips. It has a definitely decent longevity or, you know, yeah, longevity, that's the word. So that is that. I really, really like it. I think it's one of the best lip products in the market. And I wish I have a ton more of these. This is my favorite everyday gloss, which is a little bit sticky. I'm going to admit it, but it's beautiful nonetheless. It is the Estee Lauder Pure Color in 25 Praline Paradise, which is a beautiful kind of orangey kind of champagne-y color right here. You can definitely see what it looks like. It's amazing. It's really, really beautiful. And I love using this on any lipstick that has slight hue towards, um, you know, coral, but it's not full on coral or it's not full on orange. So that is that. And then I have two from the drugstore, which are from Rimmel. I love Rimmel lipsticks, to be honest. And these ones are my favorite nude 
um, ones from the line. The first one is in 105, which is kind of a Kylie Jennerish. Um, Jennerish almost sounds like generation. That's weird. So anyway, this is in the shade 105 which is a brownie nude really really beautiful and very very comfortable it has a matte finish which means that it's slightly drying but not much but it's also long lasting which is beautiful perfect perfection that's all i'm gonna say on that note and the final one is in the shade 03 or 3 which is more um like a, a skin tone or flesh tone um nude lipstick which is beautiful it does not have a matte finish okay, so these conclude my 10 lipstick picks for a daytime basis i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope to see you in vid in more videos to come thank you and excuse the snoring goodbye subscribe like and comment and see you